Okay, this uh, page right there. All right. Now, tell you what, let me review before we go any further. This is what we did before. What we did before was um, we did these problems with percent by mass, percent by volume. Um, I don't think we did this problem, though, did we? Okay, let me try this. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Is that, is that the one we did last Friday? I think after the quiz we did this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to do right here is probably the highest level thing that I can give in this chapter. It, it's only high because your brain has to kick in. Your brain has to kick in, but a lot of you are going to catch on to it the first time I say it. Some of you are going to need more than one time to hear it. Uh, do you understand that um, molarity is concentration, don't you? Concentration. Can we get that? All right. See this problem here? It says here, what is the molarity? Number one, here's what I want you to learn. On the test or the quiz, if they ask me for molarity, I need two things. I need moles of solute and liters of solution. Is that right? Is that right? Okay, so what if they give you moles and they give you liters? What are you going to do on your calculator? This, this is the easy part. You're going to divide, aren't you? What if they give you grams of solute and liters? What do you have to do? Okay. okay, and how do you do that? What's the fast way to go from grams into moles? D d going good. D down the mole world, what do you do? Divide by molar mass. So if they give me grams, I'm gonna change it to moles and divide it by liters, I'm done. I'm trying to give you a clue here, okay? This is simple. What if they give me moles and they give me milliliters? What if they give me, like in this case, they gave me 500 milliliters how do I change milliliters into liters? You just move the decimal over here three places. All right, what would 850 milliliters be in liters? One, two, three. Okay, everybody see that? So all I'm asking you to do is when I give you a bunch of molarity problems to do, you said, okay, you want me to find the molarity? I need moles, I need liters. That's your goal, that's your goal. So now, the highest level thing I'll do is this right here. Friday, we actually uh, figured out that they, they gave me grams, didn't they? They gave me grams of this, and what I had to do, I had to divide by molar mass, and I got moles. And then I change this to liters, 0.5 liters. Then I divide it. Are you okay so far? Is everybody with me so far? Does everybody know how I got that number? Okay, now, here's the hard part. Um, what if the question they're going to ask, and I'm, I'm not going to stress this. It's going to be a small part of the test, okay? What is the concentration of FeCl3? What is the concentration of this well we just figured it out what was it and molarity is concentration isn't it what is the concentration of FeCl3 point six one six big M which is molar moles per liter I'm gonna stop right there it's a Monday I gotta make sure I have you I got if I start doing the highest level stuff in here I have to have your attention all right now what's the concentration of iron chloride 0.616 molar. What's the next question say? What is the concentration of what? Mm -hmm. What kind of a compound is this? It's a metal and a non-metal. What kind of compound? Ooh, you got a 50-50 chance. No? Covalence, non-metal, non-metal. What do you call it when you have a metal and a non-metal? Ionic. What are ionic compounds made of? Said that. Ions. Ions. What if you put them in water and they dissolve? What does it break up into? It starts with an I. Well, one more time. A metal and a non-metal compound are ionic compound. They're made of ions. This has iron ions and three chloride ions. When I put it in water, the ions separate. Remember that word electrolyte? Okay, now, so here, here's my question. Here's the highest stuff I'll do all the whole chapter, I think. 
What's the concentration of FeCl3? 0.616 molar. What is the concentration of iron ions? Watch now, a little magic. For every one of these, how many of these do you get? One, well, that's the same molarity. That was easy. Next one. For every one of these, how many chloride ions do you get? I'll draw it for you. There's one of those ions. There's one of those. There's one of those. That's what that chemical is right there. See that? For every one of these, how many chloride ions do you get? Three. Three. So the, so the concentration would be three times higher. So how do you do this one? Oops, sorry. Darn it. All right, put that in your calculator. What do you get? It's three, the concentration of this ion is three times higher. So what is three times point, uh, 0.616? Do you have a calculator? I need to get it out. Do you have a calculator? Hey, I can't, um, honestly, honestly, right, honestly, if you're sitting there and you're not trying these calculations, I'm, I'm not sure what you're, you're, how much is it? Okay, that's good. Now, here you go. The last one, this is the last one, this is the hardest one of all. For every one of these, how many total ions do you get of any kind? One, two, three. Four. Try it again. For every one of these, how many ions do you get? One, two, three, four. So what are you going to do here? Okay, let's do that. For every one of these, how many ions of any kind do you get? You get one of these ions, you get three of these ions. That's four. So what's that number? Two point what? All right, what do you think? Really, that's the hardest thing in the whole chapter. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's do some there. Not, not actually, not as hard. Let's go to this page here, right? All right. Uh, now, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you how to start the problem. I'm going to give everybody one minute to do it. You're going to look at your neighbor, and then I'm going to call on one person and say, what did you get? Okay, so I can call, I should be able to call on, you know, at least four people right here. Here we go. Calculate the molarity when 75 grams of MgCl2 is dissolved in 500 milliliters of solution. All right, now you may sit with somebody. You may sit with somebody and do these, but let me show you how to do it. Molarity, molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution. Okay, so guess what? Did they give you moles? No. You have to change grams of this to moles. Did they give you liters? No. You got to change it to liters. Are you ready? Yeah. Sit with somebody, honestly. Sit with somebody. And start. We'll start on the seven. You have one minute. You have one minute. You can do it. You can do it. Push. You got to push yourself. One minute. Luke, turn around. You can be with that three. You can be with some guys, all right? I want you to sit with somebody. Luke, hey, Ben, let him work with you, okay? All right, you just work with somebody. Let's go, let's go. Now you have 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on. What are you waiting on? All right, who's done? Raise your hand if you're done. Wow, that's good. That's good. Now, since you're the first one done,
Can you tell me what did you get for the molar mass of MgCl2? Ah, did everybody else get 95.1? Okay, now when you took 75 divided by 95.1, how many moles did you get? 0.78 what? Nine. Okay, and then when you uh, divided these, what was your final answer? 1.578. 1.578? 8. Eight. Okay, 5.8. Eight. Now, five these eight. are moles, and this is liters. What's moles per liter, also known as big M, molarity? Moles per liter is big M, molarity. Now, how many other people got 1.58? Raise your hand. One, two. Three. Do you guys finish yet? No. Okay. Now, can I show you how to do it? Watch now. Well, how, what's the fast way to change grams into moles? Remember, you go to down the mole world, you divide by molar mass. So, you take this, 75, divided by 95.1, and that gives you moles. How do you change 500 milliliters to liters? 0.5. And then you divide. You guys are gonna get, you're gonna get so good at this, you're gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna be, I like this math stuff. Okay, are you guys finished? You guys finished? What'd you get? Okay, very good. Now, I'm gonna give you a hint on the number two, I'm gonna give you a hint, then you're gonna start. Now please listen to my hint, okay? Listen to my hint. How many grams of potassium carbonate are needed I'm going to give you a hint. First of all, potassium is plus one and carbonate is minus two. So the chemical we're looking for is that. That's the first hint. The next thing is a very, it's a big hint, big hint. If I take this uh, equation and I rearrange it, watch what happens. Whenever I see molarity and volume in a problem, if I take the same equation, molarity, Everybody look at me. This is a great hint. Molarity times volume in liters gives you moles of solute. Now, guess what? You can say, but I don't want moles of solute. Well, guess what? What can you do to moles to get to grams? How do you, how do you get out of the mole world? You multiply by molar mass. Ready? <clears throat> All right, so you guys want 90 seconds to the 60? Ready? And I'll start at the nine. Go. 90 seconds. All right, let's do it. Really? Dang. So you didn't listen to my hints, right? Did you guys, did you happen to do molarity times volume? Very good. Did you get 138? Did you get molar mass at 138? Right. Did you get a molar mass at 138? Oh, well, eventually you do. Um, okay. It is blue. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Ah, that's weird. Okay. All right, hold on. All right, we still got, still got uh, thirty-five seconds. Okay, they want to know how many grams you would need. So, if you find moles. How do you change moles into grams? Okay. No, if you do, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, everybody, uh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, so I can call on Aiden. Aiden, I'm gonna call on your group. What did you get? Um, 
What did you put right here for molarity? Hey, Sean, stop. What did you get for molarity? What's the molarity? Okay, it's right there. 2.5 molar. What did you get for volume in liters? That's milliliters. Okay, now multiply those and what do you get? 0.5 moles of this stuff here, right? And how do you get, um, how do you get out of, how do you go from moles back to grams? What's the shortcut? Okay, did you guys find the molar mass of this then? Did you get 138? Okay, okay, so what's 0 0.5 times 138? What do you got, Sean? Uh, uh, Aiden? Aiden, what do you got? Okay, there we go, 69 grams, what do you think? All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one, ready? This one, same type, same type of situation, but do you know how to write copper two fluoride? I need your help, Sean. What does the Roman numeral mean? Okay, so if it's copper two, the charge on the metal is plus two and fluorine is minus one. So there's your chemical and ready? And go. Yeah. Now, I'm going to call on somebody randomly, so make sure everybody does it. Everybody's going to try it. All right, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh. 11.30 a day. It's time to grow. 11.30, sorry. 11.30. Hey, hang on, hang on. We're not going anywhere. Okay, not yet. All right, Zach, go ahead and answer it. Answer, you, answer, you answer it correctly, we can go. What? What?